And also Tara Richter back in studio, Richter Publishing. Welcome back. Yep. Good to be in. Today we are going to talk about how to blog your book into existence and get you on TV with the power of SEO. Nice. Love it. Great way to grow your sphere of influence and add value to other people's lives. Uh, something that we take uh, very seriously here with the Real Estate Quarterback Show, our second show, the Consumer Quarterback Brand. Uh, we're all about helping you. you know, hey, let's switch gears. We're going to talk about the opportunity to write your own book. And, and it's something that, you know, it's a, it's a way that you can grow your sphere of influence. Uh, Tara Richter, Richter Publishing, welcome back. Thanks for having me. Um, thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, what I wanted to talk about today is how blogging is a really great way to actually write a book. Because, you know, a lot of people, um, business owners especially, we don't have time to sit down and write. Um, it's just, you know, to write a book that's, you know, two, three hundred pages like this, it's a daunting experience. You're like, oh my gosh, how would I ever have time to sit down and write this entire book? But the cool thing is if you do blogs, which, you know, would just be like short pieces of information that you would blast out, maybe like, you know, 500 words, mm -hmm. something like that is a good amount of information to put on a blog. And what you do is while you're um, blogging, you just organize that information and put it in folders on your computer. Mm -hmm. So as you're blogging, you're kind of putting little teasers out there about your book that's going to be re like, you know, like released in the future. So you don't want to put all the information in a blog. You just want to put a little bit of the information and then, you know, to tease that out to, um, you know, potential readers. And at the bottom of the blog, it's like, hey, this is going to be in my book that's going to be released, you know, next year. And then what you can do is take those blogs, organize them on your computer. Because when I write, I'm kind of ADD. I'm like all over the place. So I'll get like a really good, you know, excited, like, oh, I want to write about this. And then, you know, the next day, oh, but I want to write about this. And yeah. so it's kind of all over the place. So if you organize your folders, like for each chapter, like on your computer, like chapter one, I don't know, let's just say it's a book about marketing. Like that mm -hmm. could be, you know, SEO. Chapter two could be radio. Chapter three could be writing press releases. I don't know, whatever. So then when you write that information about that certain topic, you can mm -hmm. save that Word file, put it in that folder. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of organizing as you go. I like that. I like that idea because you can also do things that are topical in the news, tie that to your press releases that you're timely putting out during the week. Yeah, absolutely. Because if you you look uh, utilize you know the proper SEO techniques while you're blogging, you know with the key search terms and actually you know ping like celebrities or hot topics, it gets more um, traffic to your blog. Mm -hmm. So like for instance, um, it's kind of it's funny. I know there's 76 other. Tara Richters out there in the world hmm. that spell their name exactly the same way as mine. <laughs> However, I dominate Google because when I realized this, the first thing I did is I went and I bought my own URL of my name, yep. spelled exactly how it is, because that's how the search engine spiders are going to find certain keywords. You know, it's important to have it in the URL. It's also important to have it in like, you know, the tagline, the header of your blog, mm -hmm. to have it within the content of the blog, and then to also have it in the tags and your images, right. you know, because you have to tag your images with the appropriate words instead of just downloading it from your phone and it's IMG underscore 34567 right. right. dot JPEG, you know? Yep. So if you utilize all of that, then that's how you get ranked high on Google. And the thing is, in this day and age, you are who Google says you are. Mm hmm so if, you know, anytime you go to do business with anyone, what's the first thing you do? You Google them. Yep. You find out, you know, where are they? Where's their website? You know, where's their office? What have they done? <laughs> <laughs> that goes along with uh, dating, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, with dating, you know, researching. I mean, with businesses and everything today, we research and we have, you know, the Internet and the ability to do that. But you have to get all of your information and optimize it so that Google can find it. Yeah. So, um, you know, just a cool example is, um, you know, I've been blogging for years. I love to blog. You know, I utilize WordPress because it's a great platform for blogging. And um, because I'm really good at the SEO, what, um, what was it? Uh, a couple of years ago, I had the opportunity to um, interview Ethan Embry. And I don't know if you guys remember who he is. He was on, like, Sweet Home Alabama. He was on Empire Records. Okay. He yeah. had a spot on The Walking Dead. So he's kind of like a B-lister, you know, like actor out there. Sure. So I had this awesome opportunity to interview him. Well, it was funny because when I interviewed him, I had 
just um, I had I didn't have my publishing house. I only had my dating jungle books. So when he found out at that time I had you know was the expert on relationships, he's <laughs> like, oh my god, let's talk about that. Yeah. And I'm like, no, because he was on Once Upon a Time, and we were supposed to talk about Once Upon a Time. All he wanted to talk about was his ex wife oh, and the man. fact that he was now dating her again. And how did I feel about it? And I gotta say though, he is the coolest guy in the world. We talked about stuff that should not have been talked about on the radio, <laughs> but he obviously felt really comfortable with me. So what I did is I actually just recorded that info on my phone. Mm-hmm. You know, we then obviously put it on the radio after the fact. I went and had that MP3 transcribed. I put it onto a blog. Then, of course, we took a picture together, you know, put my name, his name on the picture, posted up on a blog. And what happened was six months later, his Wikipedia page now has my interview indexed on his Wikipedia site. Nice. Now, a year and a half later, he's remarried to his ex wife, <laughs> um, Sonny Mabry. And now my article has been picked up from E News, E T Online, and all these other you know media outlets because when you go and Google um, Ethan Emery divorce, my interview comes up. Yeah. So he hadn't been talking about that with anyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now you know I have all of this you know these big time media coming back and linking to my blog. So now that's like my top hitting blog on my dating jungle site. Because I was able to utilize all the proper SEO. Yeah, if you just join us, you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show. Tara Richter, Richter Publishing, sharing some uh, great stories about how to leverage your your uh, opportunities. You're writing a blog. You're looking at getting, uh, you know, write, uh, publishing a book. There's a lot of things you can do, and, and also the video side as well. You know, you can do some video, attach it to those. You know, a lot of people don't realize Google owns YouTube, and they also own WordPress. So how do you rank online? Uh, you you put out this type of content. So yeah, great point, great story. Yeah, absolutely. And another cool thing is from all of my blogging, I've had TV producers actually come and approach me. I was just featured on um, a TV rally series on BBT called Almost Royal, and that was also with my Dating Jungle series. And that didn't cost me a dime in PR. It was just putting out the blogs, putting out all my info. And when they came to the Tampa Bay area to record, they kept looking up, you know, relationship expert, you know, whatever Tampa Bay, and they were like, your name just kept coming up. Me and one other lady, they interviewed both of us. But I got to tell you, I think it's because I had three books published. Yep. When the producers interviewed me, I'm the one that got the spot. Yeah. And that was free. I didn't have to pay PR. I didn't have to pay anything. That was just all the power of blogging. That's awesome. And and if you're, you know, just depending on whatever industry you're in, you know, you can utilize this same strategy to, you know, have yourself ranking to be that person of influence, that that key person that they're going to reach out to. And then if the local news stations do a story or, or any, you know, f- for that matter, any station needs to do a story, you're going to be top of mind and they're going to come and search you out. Absolutely. So, and that's the great thing also with publishing a book is because then, you know, it raises you up on Google because um, now you have your book and your name in Amazon. So then that pulls up. Like if you Google my name, Tara Richter, the first thing is, um, you know, my Google business page. Then it's the publishing website. Then it's all the images that I SEO optimize. And actually, I just looked before I came here today. Image number three is now the quarterback image. Because you guys obviously know how to SEO that. (laughs) Yes, we're doing it. (laughs) So that one pulls up number three. And then after that, it's my own website, TaraRichter.com. Then it's my Amazon page. Then it's interviews from other outlets, you know, media and TV. So I dominate the entire first page. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. (laughs) And no one goes to the second page of Google. Like, no No. one does. Like, if you think about it, if you're not in the top probably four or five links, no one's going to look for you. Like, I don't even know why they have all those links. Because I can probably count on my hand one time I've gone to the second page. And even less, I've gone to the third page. Exactly. And I only did that today because, I mean, I really say that you guys should Google yourselves to find out yeah. where you rank. That's right. Let's touch on that when we come back. And I'll Tara Richter, Richter Publishing, how to publish your own book and, and grow your sphere of influence through that process. And Connor Anthony in studio. And uh, Connor, we got some questions from our, our listeners out there. Yeah, we do, Brandon. And the first one's going to go to Tara. And it's coming from Derek off of Real Estate Radio Tampa. And Derek wants to know, I've always been a big reader and I'm interested in writing a book to help promote my business. But whenever I hear about authors writing books, it always seems like it's taking them years to finish. I don't really have the time to be putting into that. That, is there a quicker way that I can be writing a book? Yeah, absolutely. We have packages where we can actually write the book for you. So if you have the money and you want us to write the book, obviously that's the more expensive package, but we do have um, a staff of professional writers where we can come in, interview you, pull all the information out of your head, 
and actually write the book and get you a manuscript back to you in like two weeks. Wow, that's really fast. And don't you also have something where it's like you were advertising a class a couple weeks ago or something was writing a book in four weeks? Yeah, so we have, um, I do workshops too in the Tampa Bay area every month. And I will actually give you the tools on how you can write a book yourself in four weeks. That is, if you have the time to sit down and do it. So basically, you know, <clears throat> this book here, well, this one's about 80 pages. So this is a little bit smaller. But honestly, a book to get you on TV and radio is about 20,000 words. So 20,000 words equates to 100 pages in a five by eight book. So if you sat down and wrote 715 words a day for 28 days, you would have a little over 20,000 words. And that's your rough draft. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a, it's a great way to grow, grow your sphere of influence. You're able to, uh, you're able to, uh, you know, instead of handing out your business card, you know, you hand out that book to a potential client. That's why I love it. You know, we wrote our consumer advocate playbook uh, some time back, and you know, I'm using that to, you know, basically uh, solidify that authoritative expert. When I go in to meet with someone about listing their home, and I say, by the way, I'm a published author. I, I host a radio and TV show here in Tampa Bay. You know, it just sets you apart from your other professionals that are in your industry. Absolutely. And, you know, these little books that I have um, that I give out for free, I mean, they only cost me a couple bucks wholesale. So, I mean, this is it's kind of like a glorified, you know, brochure, but yet yep. it still makes you a published author. So you don't have to sit down and have a 300 page, huge, massive book like this. Mm -hmm. Just something this small is enough and it's inexpensive you can carry them with you hand them out and this is your business card because people are not going to throw this away they're going to take it home they're going to put it in their office or give it to someone else but they will not throw a book away yeah and this, and this the world that we live in it's such an internet-based social media world you know that's a big part of it as well it gives you more content you know i love the idea of putting together content over time because you can relate it to what's in the news you know i just went to a business mastery course with tony robbins about eight or 12 weeks ago and he, they, they were talking about one of the experts that he had was talking about uh, what is it? is it news jacking is that the term where you're where you're basically <laughs> there, there's a news story that's already going so think of that as the train you know there's a train already going by people are already talking about uh, whatever it might be in the news uh, you attach onto the the caboose of that train and then now you're associated with that and they gave some examples of how it went great for companies and it increased their their stock uh, mm -hmm. price and, and price per share and they gave some examples of how it went bad I, I think the the example of how it went bad I forgot uh, which company it was insurance company or something along the lines and they they talked about the uh, the, the twin towers in New York you know how so oh. that was how it went bad they try to capitalize on that versus you know some other examples of how it can go really well for you yeah um, you had to be sensitive to that I mean like with my first, you know, my own first um, dating jungle series, what I would do is watch, you know, The Bachelor, The Bachelorette. We would blog about it, tweet during it, and just make funny commentary because, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's just, it's reality TV. Yep. And then we'd be like, oh, he needs a file, you know, the, this guy needs a, he needs to do rule number five and book number two. And then, yep. you know, you tweet that out. And I would get a lot of retweets, a lot of responses. Yeah. Those are actually some of my top trending blogs on the dating jungle site. It's just stuff that we're pinging off other media like that. Yep. Because if you tag it properly and you talk about the people on the shows, there's during those Monday nights, they're searching those people and then my site pops up. So yeah. it's just a cyclical, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, it really is. You think about the, the strategy, that, that's a great point. You know, if you're watching a sports event or whatever it might be, uh, you know, the, the Bachelor example, it, it, you know, Twitter is more of a platform for that type of interaction. And then you've got Facebook, which is which could be a more general approach and, and you know, putting out content like Gary Vaynerchuk talks about the jab, 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 and then the right hook is your big event or, uh, you know, your big push for sales on a, on a book that you just wrote. A lot of different strategies that you can utilize. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yep. So um, let's switch gears. Let's talk. Tara. So um, last Friday, uh, my company was at a red carpet gala for Visions of Hope, um, where we donated money and uh, to raise awareness for the victims of domestic violence. It was a really cool event over at T. Pepin's. Um, hospitality center. Um, I would say they probably at least had like 600 people there. And it was really powerful to hear the stories of these victims. Like this one older lady, um, <clears throat> she had, you know, been beaten for many years by her husband. Like mm. literally almost every bone in her body was broken. Mm. She ended up killing him and going to prison Ugh. and spending her entire life in prison and finally just got out. She was on stage like in a wheelchair wow. telling her story. And it was just... Wow. It was really emotional, but that's a great, um, you know, uh, charity that we have here, Visions of Hope. Visions and of Hope, helping helping uh, victims of uh, 
Domestic, domestic violence, violence yeah. mm-hmm, exactly, and it's for men and women. Yeah. And um, the Center for Women was also um, there as well, which I'm actually going to be giving um, a talk um, on Thursday, the April 21st. Me and one of my authors, we're going to be giving a, a talk over there to the Center of Women about publishing your book and becoming a number one Amazon bestseller. Very cool, love it. Yep. So uh, let's go ahead and enter our lightning round. Okay, top consumer tips, things to do, things to avoid. And so, uh, Tara Richter, Richter Publishing. Yeah, um, so since I've been talking about blogging today, you know, my tip is um, you can use WordPress, which is a really awesome free blogging tool. So it's not that hard to set up if you don't have the money to pay someone. Mm -hmm. Um, You can get a free site. You know, you don't have to be a computer programmer to to lay it out. Um, But if you don't have the time to do it, we can do that for you. And we do have packages to blog. Um, and do the SEO. So if anyone's interested, you know, they can just contact us on my website, richterpublishing.com. All right, Tara, parting words of advice. Um, well, you know, people are out there thinking about writing a book, but they're not sure. They're like, ah, uh, nobody wants to hear my story or it's not good enough. Mm-hmm. The thing is, everybody has a story to share. Sure. So don't worry that, you know, it's not going to be good enough because one thing is, you know, if you're not like an excellent writer, we can come in and make it really good. But um, you, your story is important because I'm sure there's somebody else out there that's experienced what you've experienced. And if you can help even one or two other people get through life, I mean, isn't that you know like the name of the game? That's mm-hmm. a reward right there. Yeah. Yep. Very rewarding. Tara Richter, Richter Publishing, and Connor Anthony, our co-host here in studio. I want to thank all of our listeners out there and our viewers, all the folks that are supporting the show. We're seeing more and more engagement on all of our social media sites. Lots of submitted questions at our website blog at Real Estate radio tampa.com want to remind you our book is out check it out on amazon buy the link we would love for you to like it share it and review it that's so important uh, with these books that we put out in this content is to like it and share it and review it so uh, please go out and consider making a random act of kindness thank you 